Mary Kay here with NanaKayDesigns.com and the Altered Book Nook on Etsy.com. This is part two of a series that we're doing on altering a spiral notebook, lined notebook. Um, I have been working on the Tickle Pink series uh, that I have on my website. And um, I have gotten, like, I, I, we're, we're just about complete. I've got, like, three more pages, four more pages of the second signature that I had put together that I decided to cut apart. And I've got one more signature to stitch and get ready. Um, I have already taken my book and finished thinning out what I needed to thin out, except for this little bit right here. I'm leaving just in case I make an error and have to have another strip here. I've gone on now and finished doubling up on these. I have stained one side, so now as I'm adding the pages, I'm staining the other side right before I add the pages. It, it's all just been a lot of prep work getting started, but so far, this is where we are in the journal. Everything is holding up really well. Um, this technique seems to be working really well for me, so um, I'm just going to keep on going, but like I said, this is part two. Hopefully, I will get the rest of these done, um, at least on this side, and so far, I, I said I would come back if I had any problems, and I've not run across any real problems. Um, the most tedious part of it so far has been staining these because it's so awkward you're having to flip the book one way other way making sure you've got a cover sheet here so that you're not getting stained on your on your sheets that you're going to keep in i'm not worried about this page because i'm going to tear these out eventually but anyway that's where we are so just stay tuned we are coming right along it won't be long now i promise you it won't be long but we'll start adding pockets and flip outs and all kinds of journaling spots in this journal so just stay tuned and uh stick with me i apologize that i'm having the video a little and then go back and come back and splice all this video together but that's just the only way i can seem to work i don't want to do a three four hour video <coughs> excuse me a little tickle in my throat but anyway uh, i'll be right back as soon as i finish getting the rest of the signature in and when we start on the next one i'll stop long enough to show you what we've got in that and what we get ready to put in be right back okay we're back now well, hopefully this is the last step of actually piecing together our new design using a spiral notebook and and splitting the pages and putting the um chip papers attached to strips that we leave in the paper in the book working out well so far guys i'm really pleased so i'm going to go ahead and do a few pages with you guys um we're not completely done on coloring the strips but we'll do those as we go but we're going to start with this all right like i said i've gone and finished my last um originally i had planned on putting these together like we did the others and um let me show you when we did these others just making the um signatures and working with them like that but i decided to try this a little different after doing the wedding album so here we go well let's just keep on going with this um those were all put together like that as if we were going to do them from um scratch but um anyway i've cut them apart now i've actually sewn the um doilies where i wanted them in the book and i've stitched all the pages again on the third part of that signature so we're going to go on and start getting our stuff together now right to start with i don't really think i like kitty and mousy together so I may do a little rearranging. That's the thing of the beauty about this is these pages are separate. So I can kind of mix and match if I want to. But I have to be careful when I pull to make sure, like if I pull this pink sheet here next, I have to make sure it's not going to mess up the pattern in the book. But I really can go with this one. That's a pattern too. I'm thinking maybe we ought to just go with the flow. No, I do not want them side by side. That's just all there is to it. I'm going to go with. That's part of the center fold, so I have to be careful with that one. I think that's part of my center fold. I got to look at it again, and make sure. Those there, so that really, huh? 
these two have to stay side by side. Can't break them apart. But I can do that, which I kind of like. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this one here. All right. All right. That's my, me making my decisions first thing this morning. And fortunately, that's the way. That's the way it goes when you're doing these books. You got to, you're going to change your mind. But you know what? The beauty of the beauty of crafting is there is no set pattern really. Uh, people can tell you it's done this way or it's done that way, but you know what? It's done whatever way your brain processes it and whatever way you like it to be done. I I love creating my own way. I love my own doing my own unique style. That is one thing about crafting that I really and truly adore. The simple fact that I have no real rules and regulations. And no, I'm not rebellious. I used to be a little rebellious, but I'm not a rebellious person anymore. Matter of fact, I really just don't have much fight left in me when it comes to, well, I, I take that back. Don't mess with my youngins, my husband, my home. <laughs> I do have a lot of fight left. As far as that goes. Okay, let's pull this up like this. All right, there again. Remember, I had cut the strips to a little bit too small. I mean, not the strips, but the paper's a little too small when I cut them down. But the, but the strips were a little long, so I clip them off as I go. But so far, it's worked out well on doing this. Again, I've got to color the strips, so I use a protective paper in there. <clears throat> I want to stay in frame. I've noticed a couple of times that I got way out of frame. You guys could absolutely see nothing I was doing. And I know that's not much fun. Okay, so into the ink we go. I've had to order more ink. I think my pad's getting a little bit dry, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be totally extremely dark. Just, just so we've got it colored, colored a little bit. Just so I don't see so much white sticking through. That's really all I'm after. I don't want this. I started saying the strip's not all that important, but it has its own most important thing. But as far as the looks go, it's not the most one of the most important things. As far as the makeup of the book, it is probably the most important piece that we do. And this does take a, a, quite a bit of time. All prep work takes time because when we get through with this, we still got the prep journal cards and we still got the prep tags and things of that nature. But we'll go along and do that as we start putting those things in the book. I don't know that I'm going to prep them ahead anymore. I think I'm well, not, not in this book anyway. When we start working on the insides, cut to this book, I think I'm going to just prep the tags and cards. I'm going to use for each page. Okay, I think I've got that one ready. Again, when you're doing this, make sure that you, at, when you move your book around, that you get back in your upright position when you start to glue, because the last thing you want to do is glue a page upside down. Which, again, with this book, it's not, it's not a total loss. As long as you leave papers back here, if you were to accidentally glue one in wrong, you just strip that strip out and, and tear off two more sheets and make another strip. And as you see, we're almost done, and this book has so much space left. I mean, we got lots of pages, but lots of space left in here. This is going to be this is going to be a fun journal to me. Okay, this one again, I said was a center fold that I had designed, so I've got to find the other half of that. I certainly don't want two pink sheets together, so I'm going to have to rearrange that just a little bit. I don't want to pinch you against that. Maybe here and here. Just bear with me. If you don't understand what I'm doing, I'm just trying to look, get the uh, appearance to look right and to keep everything balanced. So that was from the bottom. So next to the deer, we may put... Well, that was pretty good. I, I didn't like that, so we'll put the pink in between there. We may have it like I want it now, and I'll, I'll stop messing around, okay? But that is another thing. I really am meticulous about how my pages look side by side. When I go putting pages in a book, um, to me, it's just as important what's on each side as it is 
to have nice designs in it. Um, you want you want what side by side in the book to also kind of match and blend and not look awkward beside each other. So that is another thing I spend a little bit of time doing is making sure my pages look right together. Now we're going to come in and get our little mouse in. Again, up. I get it up. Cut my book. We'll cut my strip down to the right size. And it's done. Okay. And it, as you're noticing, I am not at this moment, I'm taking and punching out the little holes to put around here. I will do that as I go along. You know where I think I need extra strength because I went back and just glued two of the strips together and I really think I've got really I feel like I feel comfortable with the strength I've got. But I may go in for aesthetics since I had done some to keep it balanced. I'll go put some more in. Okay, little mousy. Let's go. Let's paint your strip. And when you get these strips done, it's just parts of it that still don't look right to you. You can go back after you've got your book done and, and look at it when it's put together and see if there's anything that bothers you about the strip. Any white picking out that you don't particularly like. I'm hoping we're not going to have that situation. I think we're good. If I could figure a way to put a little strip back here, glue it down behind, behind it, I'd do it. And I may still figure it out. But at this point in time, we're just going to move on and get the book together so we can start putting pockets and things in. That's really what I'm anxious to do to get in and see how how many projects I can put inside the book without getting this major bulk that I normally get on my other type. You'll end up working your own style as you go on. That's that's the biggest, biggest thing you'll find. You'll end up working your style. Your style will be slightly different than somebody else's. And that's what you want. And or if you just like just taking and looking at somebody's video and doing it, making something as close to what they've got as you can, as they make, then that's that's okay too. Me, I like to design my own style. All right, little mouse, you're one of my favorites. So let's get you in. Remember again, lining up right at the hole. Be careful not to get right against the metal and cover the hole up. You do not want to cover the hole. You want you want your strip glued down right at where each of the holes are punched. And that one got a little too far in. Just adjust because you need to. Okay. Look at it, make sure everything looks good and it does. Clip again. All right, I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to cut the video off and finish it up. And um, I think I've, I think I have shown you enough of me actually putting it together on video so that you get the idea of how to do everything. And of course, we're going to probably do some more. My next few kids made this. I'm working on one called Gingerific that's got gingerbread men in it. And that's going to be my next one. And yeah, that's kind of Christmassy too, but I'm still going to do it because I started on it last year. And I didn't get my gingers finished because I am hand drawing my gingers. So it's taking, and I'm hand painting them. So it's taking me time to get them done. I've got quite a few already done. And be careful about that when you, if you paper slips, make sure you get it back where you're not going to get ink on your page that you've already glued down. I have confidence that you guys have already caught on to this and are already halfway through getting your papers done. And like I say, any kit, you do not have to use a Christmas kit if you want to do if you want to do a wedding album out of one of these books, that's perfectly okay, too. The wedding albums do not have to be massively big. 
um, that would be fine too, a small wedding album. Um, you can take, I've got other kits that's got a lot of the lined paper, design, lined design papers in it, and it would make just a beautiful, just plain, you know, writing journal. There's just, I just say the sky's the limit with this technique that I've come up with, and it's just going to work good for me. Just takes a little time, like I say, a little time for the initial prep, but once you're past that, we are just going to have a good time putting uh, secret envelopes in here, secret journaling spots, flip outs. Um, I just, I just can see getting a whole lot of cute little things done. So, like I said, guys, there's our last page. I'm clipping the top off. You see how to trim that. Get a swallow of my coffee. Cut the video off for a few minutes, and I'll be right back to show you the finished product of the base journal. Okay, guys, I've gotten to the end of putting the pages in. Okay, I have. Well, I have all. I got everything pretty much in place like I wanted, except I ended up when I ended up rearranging my pages, which is why I should never do it rearrange pages while I'm going because I ended up with trying to put two doilies back to back like this. Didn't like it. It didn't seem to be working out right. I, I was not happy with it. And I'm, I I said, well, I'm just going to leave that out. Well, I just really don't want to leave that out. And so I started looking through my book thinking, well, what could I do? Well, here's what I decided, guys. And this is one of those things about crafting and, and, and being able to do things. I want, I had to put the teddy bear I stitched the teddy bear. That was another thing. I stitched the teddy bear on the wrong side when I when I was doing her. I should have stitched on this side so when I glued it down, the stitch was on the side. I stitched on the wrong side. So I had to glue uh, this one underneath, which is out of my sequence normal. I said, when I really just, anyway, what I decided to do is this. I am actually going to take this page right here, and I'm going to glue it on top of this page on three sides. And I'm going to leave this as an open pocket right here in the middle of my book. I've got this big open pocket. We're going to stuff things down in. And we'll probably put some kind of a pool, a big pool journal spot, hidden spot. But this is going to be uh, just a little, I'm going to make a pocket in the middle of my book. So that's just a little thing you can do. So everything's not always a loss when you, when you make a mistake. And my glue is a little dry. Give me a second. It's being ugly with me this morning. Sometimes if I don't pull the glue off my pen, the little bits get down in my nozzle. These nozzles are tiny. But I'm going to glue it right on top of this page, and I'm going to make me a great big pocket right in the top of my middle of my book. That wasn't such a straight line, was it, guys? Okay. Glue real good right there, that thread. We could put a really big journal card, a nice journaling spot there. Let's smooth it down a little so that we don't get so much wrinkles. All right. Cautiously. Let's try to, all right, now I got it laid on, but I've not pressed it yet. What I'm going to try to do is pull this up and match these corners as perfectly as I can. I kind of want it to be a little hidden spot here. All right, and that's what we've got. And now, nobody knows but you and all the world, that, which is just me and all the world, is looking at my video that I made a boo-boo and had to compromise. But there it is. I've got my hidden spot now. All right, so we've got to make sure we get it down tight. Pressing both sides. I'm pushing really good because I can see where it went to bulk up a little. And if I have to put some glue on it, I will. But I think we're good. Yep, it's opening up fine. I got a good... Oh, yeah, it wants to keep splitting at that bottom. So I'm right, right here. I'm going to pull it up again just a little bit. 
Okay, I'm going to add some more glue under here. Uh, yeah, there's a little spot right in here that's not wanting to grab. So I am not going to put a little bonnets there. I bet it grabs this time. Yep, let it dry, and we've got it, guys. There is our ticket paint book started. It's ready for us to start putting our little inserts, pockets, tags, flip outs. And what we're going to do now is I have, I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not going to add, let me look around, make sure. I'm not going to add anything else. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tear everything that's left out. All the extras are coming out. We don't need them anymore. Be careful when you get to this point. Don't get overzealous because um, if, if you pull too many pieces out at one time, now I'm, I'm only going to tell you this is, a, this is a severe warning. If you try to pull too much bulk at one time, you're going to mess your wires up. And the last thing you have to do when you've gotten to this point is, is mess these wires up. So, um, and be aware that I am pulling two at a time. Look, let me show you this. You still, with, with a little bit of tugging, can pull that out. So that don't mean these pages can't get pulled out. So you got to be careful when you're putting your book, too. But I'm pulling the rest of these pages out. We don't need them. We're going to pull them out. And then when I get these out, just give me a second. We'll take a few more seconds here to finish ripping these out. And I'm going to grab them two minutes. I'll let you see what the book looks like when it's closed and how much space we've got to add our journal, our, our tutorial, um, tutorial that we're going to show you. I've got this in the garbage and that's a no-no. Um, save these guys and we'll find something to do that we may even use them in this project. Okay, um, there's my book. There's how much space we got. Lots and lots of space in between. Um, we still got a lot of space we can add Add to. I'm sure there's a lot more we can add because we took a lot out. We've taken all this much out. So we can add all that kind of space back in. These can also make good dividers like this for inking and things. So just save those pages for a little while anyway. I'm not saving forever. But anyway, there is our book. Let's do a flip through right quick of how it looked. The hidden journal spots, I mean the tool spots, a little hidden place there. It turned out beautiful to me. I don't know about how anybody else feels about it, but I absolutely love what we did to this book. It just is just too cute to me. We are going to have so much fun working on this book. But unfortunately, I'm going to lay it aside for, for a day or two and finish up my, I'm going to get my stitching done on my, oops, there's where we put our little pocket. I'm going to get the sunny summer days finished and I'm going to get the um, tins of season done. And then we may, the projects that we make for this one, we may add to some of those too. So now we'll be working on three different projects at, at one time. But that's okay. We can do it. We are tough. But that's the book, guys. It is absolutely, totally gorgeous to me. I can't wait. I've already decided that what I'm going to do on the, on the front is I'm going to actually wrap a piece of this in cloth. And I'm going to keep the pretty gold bubbles all the way around this edge. I'm just going to do one of these in the center. So that's already, my, I'm already planning my cover. So anyway, guys, that's the technique of putting together the, the prep work or the start of actually breaking down a, one book and making it into another. So that's where we are. And I will close off for now. And I will come back when we have our first project. And we will start part three. Part two ended up not being very long. But that's okay. Um, we will start part three next. And that will be adding our projects into the book. Bye-bye. See you next time.